Hello to all students. This is Professor Masood Fuzal. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss torsion in mollusca. As you know that molluscans are belong to phylum mollusca, uh, which are usually gastropods, and uh, they do a process, a process known as torsion, in their early stages of life during the larval stage. As you know that they produce Weligar larva. During the development of larva, it undergoes a process known as torsion. What is torsion? So first of all, we have to look at the definition of torsion. So let's look at the definition. The movement or twisting of visceral organs at 180 degree. Movement or torsion of the body organs at 100 degree counterclockwise. Twisting of visceral mass. Visceral mass is the internal mass like heart, digestive system and other body organs. Mantle which is a surface, epithelial surface inside the mental cavity which produces shells. And mental cavity which is sensory in function. It also helps in the uh, breathing, respiration. All of these organs rotate, twist at 180 degree forming a U-shaped digestive system. So how this happen, let's discuss in detail. So first of all, I am going to discuss the anatomy of snail. As you know that snail is a small crawling animal which belong, which is known as gastropod. It has a muscular body, mostly consists of foot, which is as you can see right over here, this is a foot. And on the top of the foot, there is a calcareous shell. Inside the body, there is a this is the anterior side of the body. This is the posterior side of the body. On the anterior surface of the body, you can see the mouth and the digestive tract, which is in the blue color. This is the digestive system. At the end of the digestive system or stomach, there is anus, which opens into a cavity, which is known as mantle cavity. And inter inner lining of the mantle cavity is usually known as mantle. Associated with the digestive system and visceral organ, there are muscles, as you can see in the red color. These muscles are known as retractor muscles. These are responsible for the process of torsion. On the posterior surface and on the dorsal side of the foot, there is a structure which is known as operculum, which helps to seal the mental cavity as the animal retreat inside the shell due to desiccation or uh, predator. In the larval stage, usually when animal retreat inside the shell, uh, because mental cavity is on the posterior side, first of all, posterior side of the body enter the cell first and then head enters later in the shell. And as you know that head is very important. It should be as saved first. So now look at uh, this diagram, which is uh, after torsion. In the this diagram you can see that the mental cavity which was on posterior side has moved toward anterior side. This is the mental cavity. Digestive system which was uh, in uh, long straight tube and uh, head was on anterior side. Mouth was on anterior side and anus was on posterior side. Now mouth is still on anterior side but the digestive system has turned into U-shaped structure and the anus has came up to the top of the head in, and opens inside the mental cavity on the anterior surface of the body. Retractor muscle has changed its shape and these are responsible for the contraction of the muscles uh, for, and the movement of the body organs and making them into U shape and uh, rotating them or twisting them at 180 degree. Now this is the foot, this is operculum. And uh, after torsion, when animal retreat inside the shell, because the mental cavity is on the anterior side of the body, then head will enter so retreat inside the shell first. Later foot will enter and after that, upper column will close the shell to avoid uh, desiccation and to make the animal safe from predator. 
Now let's look at this process of torsion in another view. This is a this is a lateral view. I am now going to show you a dorsal view from top view of the diagram. So this is a snail. On the top, if you see, this is the anterior portion of the foot containing mouth. This is the posterior po portion of the foot, and this is the shell. I, I didn't make any shell, but you can see the lining of the shell around. Mantle cavity is on the posterior side of the body, which contain gills, right gills and left gill, which is which are important organs for respiration. Uh, on the posterior side of the body, there is also a heart is present. Anterior surface contain mouth, and uh, the digestive tract is in the form of a straight lining, which opens into mantle cavity in the form from where anus, and all the undigested material opens into the anus, and from there, from mantle cavity, it is released into the water. But after torsion, as you can see in this diagram, the mantle cavity which was on posterior surface now has been moved towards anterior surface. At the same time, gills are also transferred to anterior surface, right and left gills. And uh, anus, the digestive system has uh, twisted into U-shaped structure and opens into the mantle cavity right over anus is and uh, torsion has been completed. So why this animal do torsion during larval stage? So there are some speculation, but exact mechanism or exact reason we do not know, but there are some speculation we are going to discuss in at the end of this lecture. Now let's discuss this torsion in one more view so that we can easily understand whole concept. So I have made another diagram for you. So this is a body of snail, anterior surface, posterior surface, mantle cavity on the posterior side, gills on the posterior side, digestive system is tube-like from anterior to posterior side, retractor muscles which I already mentioned you, they twist the visceral mass and twist the visceral mass into an angle of 90. Now the mantle cavity and gills has been moved towards the lateral side of the body and it makes an angle of 90. Later on, retractor muscle again arrange themselves and pulling the whole structure into the anterior surface of the body. Now the digestive system has become U-shaped. Mental cavity has transferred to the anterior surface of the body as along with gills. And uh, heart is also was on posterior side now has been moved towards the anterior surface. So in this way, torsion has been completed. If you want to look at another view, if you, you can look out over here. In this diagram, you can see the anterior portion of the snail, posterior, gills are present on the posterior surface, mouth, mantle cavity, anus. When torsion takes place in the first step, 90 angle, and uh, the digestive system develops uh, on the lateral side, gills comes on the lateral side, and, and at the end of the torsion, the digestive system become U-shaped, mantle cavity transfer to the, on the anterior surface as long as with the gills and torsion has been completed. So what, why the, so now let's uh, discuss why this uh, uh, torsion takes place. So there are many speculation, there are some advantages uh, which are we are going to discuss. First of, first advantage of torsion is that head enters first. As I mentioned you earlier that before torsion, when animal retreat inside the shell, Usually body posterior side enters the shell first and interior side later. And as you know that head is the very important part or body which should be protected first. So after torsion, head will enter the first and tail will enter the shell later and closed by operculum. So in this way, there is more protection to the animal before, uh, rather than before torsion. The second speculation is uh, anterior opening of the mental cavity before torsion. Mental cavity was on posterior side, which contain gills and some sensory structures. When this animal crawl on the surface of land or on the on the bottom of the uh, pond or a stream, it produces turbulence, which produce a lot of uh, uh, pebbles, lot of uh, soil, lot of dirt, which enters into the mental cavity from the posterior side. And this will make the respiration process very difficult and gills will be stuck with the soil or mud. So the advantage of moving mental cavity towards uh, on the anterior surface of the body, it, it has that mental cavity will receive fresh water without any turbulence, without any dirt, without any soil. And also sensory organ will be on the anterior side of the body and it will be easy to detect 
stimuli coming from the environment but there is also a disadvantage that when mental cavity comes on the front side when animal will excrete digestive material undigested food that will be thrown on to the mouth but they have developed some kind of slits inside the cell from where this material can be removed from the body so that's all for today i hope it makes sense and i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye